What's up, y'all? It's 4 a.m. Yeah, and it's time to react to the Inazuma 11 Victory Road of Heroes official August 22nd, 15th anniversary news update straight from Akihiro Hino on the Level 5 blog. The full blog will be down in the description below, but this is the English Google translated version. This is my first time reading it. I'm going to have proper full analysis coming out in the next few days, but for right now, this is my first reaction. Let's get reading. All right, Inazuma 11. Victory Road of Heroes, plan for long-term play. Hmm, cheeky. Okay, I want something that can be played for a long time. In adjusting in Azuma 11's latest work, Heroes Victory Road, we were very conscious of the origin, but the mechanics of game in the game industry, obviously this English is Google translated, so we'll get the gist. <laughs> Uh, in the games industry have evolved much since that time and we want players in order to in order to make people feel the Inazuma 11-ness we decided the system itself would not be good as it was back then therefore we will introduce a new system that creates some strategic elements in the match system will occupy most of the playing time okay so it's going to be slightly different and we can see the slightly different tension hello focus zone scramble what we've made the mid-game tactics not just a choice but a system that requires action action-oriented situational judgment, player skill, strength of data, and luck in action. I think these three elements will be intertwined in a well-balanced manner. Oh my god, am I gonna have to, am I gonna have to actually game in my Inazuma 11 gaming sessions? Am I gonna have to do some button presses? Oh my god, this is terrifying. Zone, change the offensive and defensive battle in front of the goal. In addition to options such as what kind of shot to shoot, you'll be able to give a quick pass to the player next to you and think about how to attack. Ooh, see, I quite like the sound of that. If that's going to make shooting more interesting rather than just getting near the shot, clicking your strongest Hizatsu, scoring a goal, that's going to make it a lot more interesting. That's really, really exciting. Scramble. It's a systemized version of the scramble for the ball that occurs in real soccer. It is a system that selects plays such as keeping the ball that flew in or giving a direct heading pass to a nearby player by lining the cursor with the marker, pressing the button at the right time. I like this. They're trying to make it more like real football. That's so cool. That That is exactly what I want from an Azuma 11. Tension Gorge. Personal TP will be abolished. What? There's no TP? And techniques will be used with the Tension Gorge. They've gotten rid of TP. Okay. Okay, tension builds up during a match with focus and is consumed when using techniques. Okay, in other words, managing this tension and using it efficiently is the key to victory. What? Okay, so TP is gone. It's now tension. That's insane. You can check the new system in the game in the video on August 31st. Bro, that's not, that's not too far away. In addition, it will be possible to actually play at the game show uh, 2023 in September. Obviously, we know that it's available to play in the game. Uh, Tokyo, sorry, not the game show. Tokyo game show. And it looks like we're getting more news on August 31st. In order to make Victory Road, okay, so this is the plan. In order to make Victory Road of Heroes playable for a long time, we plan to create a long-term management system based on the concept of Plan B. We'll think of multiple uh, mechanisms that can be enjoyed by players using online. Okay, very vague, but looks like Plan B is going to be something. Maybe it's like a Battle Pass type system. I don't know. New mode, Victory Road. No way is this... I just, just caught it a glimpse. There is no way this is exactly what I've been asking for from Inazuma 11 this entire time. This time, in addition to be able to play online, we are planning to add a mode that allows players to participate in a football frontier where players compete for the championship. This must have been a dream for all Inazuma 11 fans. We are still considering how to play against each other, but anyone can participate in the qualifiers and they will be able to freely earn points. The play evaluation points that are determined the qualifying passes and for the top finals, I think the match time will be decided and the opponents will gather at that time to play. <laughs> All I'm saying is I think there's a past video where I spoke about this exact kind of thing. No shot. Tournament management by season. Football Frontier takes place in seasons. One season is scheduled for two to three months. This is... They're planning for this to go on for a while. In Football Frontier, you can't win just because you've trained the strongest players through long hours of offline play. I'm going to I'm gonna end up streaming this Football Frontier. Oh my god. Football Frontier teams must consist of at least six seasonal players and five eternal players. What? A seasonal player is a player that is only released in that season? Therefore, it will be re-raised re re from the beginning of each season. On the other hand, you can have up to five eternal players that are strong players who can be traded in advance. What? No, okay. In order to win in a football frontier, it's necessary to collect seasonal characters and create a well-balanced team, including past players. Excuse me, players in a changing season. What? Seasonal players... Um, who come in as freshmen, become sophomores the following season, and then become juniors the following season. And after the third year, yes, they graduate. 
In other words, seasonal players can be used for a maximum of three play seasons. However, the seasonal players that worked hard to develop will not be usable after the season's over. That's not the case. Seasonal players just don't feature mob-like characters and on rare occasions, famous players... What? Wait, so there are players who come in, actually age, well, age, and can a and age out of the format. So they're planning, and if we assume a season's two to three months, they're planning for this to go on for ages if they're going to have players aging in, aging out, and they want to throw in famous players going on. This is insane. This is amazing. I'm so excited. And I cannot wait to, to talk about this some more and then start playing this when it comes out. And I'm definitely going to be streaming the Football Frontier basically almost every day when I can. Oh, oh, oh. come on. And after an uh, uh, So I auditioned for the main characters. I'm assuming that just means audition. After an audition for 35 people, the casting of Vic Heroes of Victory Road, Unmei Sasanami and Haru Endu have been decided. Both of you are completely addicted to the character. Okay, okay. Among the staff, Haru Endu's voice has been highly acclaimed for feeling the genes of Mark Evans. You can hear his voice in the video that will be released in September, so please look forward to it. Ooh, okay. Uh, at the release stage, even incarnation is installed. Okay. This time, almost all the players from the past yet, yeah, but it's not possible to it's not possible to install a past mechanic. Okay. So we plan to install up to incarnation this time. Okay. I'll be honest. I think there's some translation stuff going on there, which is a bit funky, but it looks like there's not Mixy Max, there's not Armified. That's fine. Playable will be, the new system introduced today can be played at the Tokyo Game Show. Awesome. We know that. That's sick. It's time we'll announce a new character design. They are characters with very attractive personalities, but I won't talk about them yet. Especially who is this boy with strange design called Blonde Hair Stripes. I have a deep connection. Yeah. Okay, so we know that he is this guy. We've seen him in the preview of it, um, stuff that Level of Five Ambassadors showed. But okay, so we know that this kid is related to someone. We don't know who yet. I'm intrigued. Uh, I, you guys have been saying like I've seen stuff for Fidio, um, Lucia, the the uh, blind girl. I've seen stuff for Axel. Um, I don't know, Saggy maybe. <laughs> who knows? But that's sick. This is sick. And then obviously we've got all these images we've already seen. Uh, next information now, August 31st, and just before the game show in September. Okay, so August 31st is the next information drop. This is so exciting. I can't tell you guys how excited I am for uh, this online mode. I'm so excited. Oh my god, they've made my my dream come true for Victory Road. And if you guys are excited, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and all that stuff. And it looks like August 31st is when we're getting some more information, probably in the form of a video, which is really exciting. So obviously make sure you subscribe for that, like all that classic YouTube stuff. Um, obviously here at TXM, we give you guys the video, uh, the, the news the second that comes out. And also we're gonna have a bunch of videos out in the next few days about these mechanics, um, about this new character, about the online Football Frontier system. I can't wait. I'll see you guys then, but for now, bye.